Minecraft is an innovation platform that goes everywhere and does everything. We always wanted to make like our own version of VR. We were contacted by Carmack from Oculus going, can I put this on VR? Minecraft is a phenomenal world-building game. Who would not want to be inside that world? Minecraft has always been on the forefront of technology, so we're trying as much as possible to have Minecraft available wherever people want to create. Be it touch, or mouse, or keyboard, VR, AR, doesn't really matter. We should make Minecraft for it. Now you're actually in Minecraft, and Tomo's head is what's dictating where we're looking. We knew when we started on doing the Oculus version that we wanted help from Oculus. And Karmic in particular loves Minecraft. His kids play Minecraft. That's always a good thing. We put together a team inside the Minecraft team and inside Oculus, and we started meeting up a couple of times a week, discussing how does the hardware actually work and if we're going to optimize for hardware. Like, how can we do this and make the best possible experience? This game was definitely not built by hand. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the development has been a very iterative process. We looked at pretty much all controls and how you play Minecraft and try to figure out like what is the best way that we can do this in VR with the maximum amount of comfort. So like a good example of that is the stutter turn, where we've changed the turning from being a smooth turn into a 22 and a half degree turn instead. And it increases the comfort on fast turning where you don't feel as disoriented, but you still have the same level of control and you don't gain a competitive advantage. Many things with the development has been, have been very uh, counterintuitive for me. For example, at the start I was thinking, I thought uh, the most obvious thing was to make everything have a lot of inertia and everything extremely smooth and elastic, but actually that, that is apparently the worst thing you can do in game. So yeah, we went around a lot of that. One of the unique challenges is how do we get people a break from that full immersion? So we came up with a concept of the virtual living room where you can always press a button and sort of zoom back and then sit in your Minecraft living room and just play the game on the screen as you would do normally. Whenever you're ready, you just press a button and it automatically zooms in and you're back into full VR again. Oh, I always like just exploring. So like the first moment with the caves and the minecarts. Oh, and another cool thing was that you could just like peer over fences. <laughs> by just doing that. I always find it's, it's completely useless, to be honest, but it's really cool. <laughs> when we first started testing with the community, we noticed a couple of things. And one thing was that whenever we put a joystick in people's hand, like basically froze. They were just sitting like they would play a game normally. Some of the most awesome moments are as people get accustomed to, actually, I can look anywhere I want to and sort of break free of that mold. Decades of training have taught people that you sit still when you play games, but that's all about to change. <laughs> it's a chicken explosion. That's... <laughs> I hope with the virtual reality edition of Minecraft is that our community will see the world in a completely new way. Gain like a level of intimacy that's just not possible on any other device. Be close to their creations, marvel at the size, have that experience they always imagined it would be, but like actually have it for real. Nice. What's happening here? <laughs> We know that when we release, it'll not take a day before people start building things that are going to amaze us. And I think that's the fun thing about Minecraft. Our job in many ways is to provide an inspirational platform, a place that people can go and have fun and make it their own, and try not to limit what people can do, and then just step back and watch the community take it for a ride. Oh. <laughs>